Hi everybody, uh, my name's Mark Ironson and, and I'm at the Property Investors Awards uh, at Christmas time down in the, at the Imperial Hotel in London and we're having a fabulous time. I just thought I'd introduce you to a few industry personalities. I've just pulled Fiona out, out of dinner. We're in between courses, we're in between starter and main course, but anyway, we have to do it now. So Anyway, Fiona, everybody, everybody, Fiona. Hi. And what I thought I'd do is ask Fiona a couple of questions about what she's doing and what she's done during this year, how successful it's been for her and what she's got planned for next year. So, Fiona, welcome. Great. And nice to catch up with you. Yeah, you too. So, <laughs> What have you done since, or what have you done during 2015? What have you been up to? Well, 2015, I mean, that's been a period of quite a lot of change. Uh, I, I, I sort of saw that early on in my investing career, I've been investing 15 years or, or more, I was a landlord. And I sort of became a portfolio holder, you know, over 100 tenants. And this year, 2015, made the big mindset shift to building a property company. So this year, wow, yeah, very exciting. And so this year, I've been investing a lot into operational infrastructure. I've moved into 2,800 square foot office, went to Cayman, did some masterminding, got some great business mentors, and uh, picked up a small development site. So I've crossed over to small commercial conversion as well. I've just got planning going through on that. And looking at another commercial building that I own, I own five commercial buildings. The second commercial building, converting that into five studios. So that's a little bit new for me, getting out of my comfort yeah. zone. Yeah. And uh, building my team, uh, because I can't grow my property company with, mm. with the, the staff level I have, I need more people yeah. to take on. So it's been quite an exciting year for me, but a little bit like, I feel like I've had the party, interesting to say at a party, and yeah. now I'm living the hangover, the systems that I'm missing and things like that, I'm really working on trying to fill those gaps in. So who have you got helping you with your systems and stuff? Have you got? Uh, well, to be honest, I, I kind of know what systems I'm missing. I've oh, mapped okay. that out. So it's the implementation that I'm getting people into. Just hired a finance director and I'm doing lots of sort of high level business mentoring as well and okay. working on that kind of stuff. Brilliant. So, so, what, so, so you went to Cayman as well? Yeah, I went to Cayman for Buried. I think we missed each other, didn't we? Yeah. Was there the week before. I was disappointed because they said you were going to be one of the mentors, but you actually ended up leaving just before yeah. my my part. So. They, um, they messed up the flight. <laughs> I, I didn't get any at all in the first week. Yeah. So what have you got planned for 2016? What's going to be happening in, in Fiona Talbot's world? Well, 2016, uh, I think, is going to be more about building cash reserves, yeah. implementing the operational infrastructure stuff I've got, like KPIs, working out like what liquidity covers I need to be at, all this boring stuff like that. No, it's business, just business, music business. to my ears. It's just fantastic. Oh, okay. So, yeah, yeah. setting the framework yeah. to really grow into. I've already had interest from overseas in terms of wanting to invest in the UK market through stuff like what I'm building. Yeah. So I'm really doing the boring framing out of my business stuff with a little bit of deal on the side. I love uh, this. <laughs> we should do a whole thing on this. We could do a whole longer video on this stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's so important to success in property though. I literally, I'm like identifying KPIs I already have, data collection, feedback loops within my business, all that sort of stuff is what I'm working on at the moment. And 2016 will be more of the same. I want to try and gear up to one to two deals a month, maybe hire a buyer as well to grow yeah. and start operating, prop well, continue operating, but grow as, as, a, as a company and build my profile as well, get out there more. Because I spent so many years in sort of the shadows being just doing landlord. it, being yeah. a landlord. Yeah. Now I'm trying to get out there and actually um, raise my profile so I can meet really interesting people like yourself. I'm also um, in discussions with some stuff around internet marketing, training and things like mentoring and that sort of work as well, right. sharing my knowledge. So are you, doing, are you doing discovery days yet where you're bringing people down to... <laughs> No, I've, uh, I don't, but I do do mentoring. I do one day a month uh, in-person mentoring, okay. and then I do one-to-one. -one. I've got a small mentoring group going, which is great. I run PP in Cambridge, so I've been networking there. So what's PP in Cambridge, what's the way? Uh, so that's Progressive Property Network uh, networking event. We hold that the second Thursday of the month in Cambridge, and we have different guest speakers mm -hmm. come along. So that's been really great. Just just getting out there meeting and networking with people has really changed my life a lot this year, taking it to multiplying everything to another level. So doing more of that and um, raising my profile, meeting people, and, and do some deals. Of course, big property investors can't deals. help it. We'll have to do have to do some deals. All right. So <coughs> if someone is out there listening now, and yeah. you were to give them, a, 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 if they were sat on the fence thinking, shall I get into property? Shall I? Do, what's the what advice would you give them? Get off the fence. Get into property. It's one of the greatest, greatest long-term wealth building building systems 
you know, there is. Mm -hmm. If you want to create that lifestyle, property is the key. I think it's brilliant. Brilliant. Well, it's leveraged money as well. <laughs> fantastic. Yeah. Well, well done. Thanks for coming along, Fiona. And uh, my, as I said, my name is Mark Irons, and um, we're going to go back in for main course now, I'm hoping, and a bit of dancing. And maybe, so maybe no one's nicked it. <laughs> so it might have eaten our lunch. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, my name is Mark Irons, and I'll speak to you soon. All right, bye.